is Grace and I'm back with another video. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been off from this platform for the longest time and yeah I'm really sorry about that. Like I've had a lot of school activities that's been holding me from making videos and I'm actually hoping that I get to be more consistent with my videos. So if you're seeing my face for the first time my name is Grace and I make videos relating to health and my general learning experiences so please do all check out my videos because there are a lot of videos out there that I've made that will be helpful to you and you can subscribe to this channel for when I post new videos so that you won't miss out on any of those videos so yeah. in this video I'm just going to be talking about you know the implantation sprouting versus period so if you're trying to conceive or you're having pregnancy scare this video will help you distinguish between implantation sprouting and your period so first of all I'd like to tell you what implantation is and how this implantation spot naturally came about so yeah implantation it is you know the attachment of a fertilized egg to the uteral lining that is the wall of the uterus so when you have sex and you know the sperm fertilizes the egg it gets you know attached to the wall of the uterus and this attachment to the wall it triggers certain reactions that end up resulting in you know light bleeding so this light bleeding is what we call the implantation spotting so one thing you should bear in mind is that a lot of ladies do not experience this implantation spotting so if you're one of those people who you know at your early stages of pregnancy you're not experiencing this implantation spotting just bear in mind that you know you are normal like there is nothing wrong with you and yeah so actually state the differences between this implantation spotting and the period first of all you have that this implantation spotting you know comes with a light bleeding so you don't get to experience the type of bleeding that you would experience during your period so yeah this period bleeding can actually last for about four to five days meanwhile you know the implantation spot is something that happens for about 24 hours or two days at most and also with the implantation spotting you'll also notice in your mouth cramping and this is nothing compared to the cramping you experience during your period and yeah this implantation spotting it doesn't have you know blood clots so as compared to you know the period that has you know blood clots accompanied by it and also you notice that this implantation spot naturally happens at about the seventh to tenth day after your ovulation so this is usually when implantation occurs Course, and this is when you get to notice you know this implantation spotting meanwhile your period usually comes you know around the time that is expected to come which is about 14th or 15th day after the ovulation so these are some of the things that you would notice and you'll be able to tell you know which is which but these are the common symptoms that you'd actually notice when you are either pregnant or your period in a and you actually out. have a video talking extensively on implantation spotting and telling you the difference between implantation spotting and ovulation spotting so please do well check out that video after this video and I guarantee you're going to learn a lot from that so yeah I really hope you found this video helpful please you can you know feel free to leave your questions in the comment section i hope you enjoyed this video as well like my video if you enjoyed it and yeah you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this and you can you know share this video to anybody who you think might find it helpful and yeah see you in my next video bye